Right, morning folks. Uh, today it's the 5th of October, Thursday. It's about quarter to nine in the morning. And today I'm at the 4th and Clyde Canal. I'm out today for two reasons. Uh, one being I've got a new pack. It's the Osprey Atmos 65 AG. And also one of my mates asked me if I'd be interested in doing the West Highland Way well. I jumped at the chance because I've been wanting to do that for a long time. But when they told me they wanted to do it in four days, I was like, ah, I'll still do it, but I don't know if I can do 25 mile a day with full kit on. So I'm basically just testing myself to see if I'm up for the challenge. So I'm even on day 25 miles a day, but I'll get a bash, I'll see how we go. I've got my pack packed with basically all my essentials that I would need for a wild camp, less the food. But I've managed to just squeeze in a couple of cans of beer, try and get the weight up a bit. So I made it this morning, sitting about 15 kilos. I probably will put me in it for when I go and do this, if I succeed today. But we'll see how we go. So I've just started and it's nice passing that line the canal. I don't know what to bite off me other than I can chew. So we'll see how we go today with this and then I'll take it for there. I say it's a while away, it's not in May next year. But any point in no getting out and seeing if you what you're up to. So we'll see how we goes and I'll let you get on how I'll get on uh, the day. Hold on. Hey, folks, I'm about to leave the canal and I'm going to head up the, the Strath Kelvin railway walk. It takes you right up to by Lennox Town, Strath Lane. So I go cycling up here quite a lot. Uh, there you go, the West Island Way. That rate's 10 mile away from here. I'll not be doing that today. Oh, well, see how we go, folks. That's us on the South Kelvin walkway. This used to be a, an old railway line. So it's quite flat, really very flat. It's still a slight gradient uh, on the way up. But it's uh, relatively flat and it's a good path as well. As I say, it's not going to be like for like on the West Highland Way, but I'll do for today just to see how I'm uh, fitness wise. That's the River Kelvin. Quite high, there's been a lot of rain. In fact, it's been pissing down for the last few days. That's the only reason I've come out today. I wouldn't have come out if it was pouring or rain. I have I found it so far. The hardest thing I find is uh, trying to motivate myself. You know, I've no end game. I'm just walking. Probably going to have a bit of lunch and then walking back again. I'm the same, the same way. So 
try and motivate myself to do that, it's probably the hardest thing I'm having to do there now. Everything else is, is okay there now. But we'll see how we go. The old Milton of Campsie. This is the old uh, train station. Opened the 5th of July, 1848, closed the 4th of April, 1966. It looks like it sort of went through Coat Bridge to Blainfield. This is the River Glazart. That joins the Kelvin. Down at Kirk and Tillock. Nice wee river. There's a wee glimpse of the campsies. That's where I was two weeks ago. Oh, it's a lovely day. Blue sky for a change. for about an hour and 45 minutes now. I think the uh, plan of attack is after two hours I've started heading back away. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that's, that's the plan. I'll go for two hours out, two hours back. I reckon maybe about 14 mile, 15 mile. But we'll see. Uh, I'll probably stop along the way, have a bit of lunch, and that'll be it. Pack, pack is fine. I've had one complaint about the pack, it's noisy, but I don't know if it's just doing it being new. Dead creaky and squeaky. But it's definitely easy enough when I first start it. Six and a half mile. So. See, I've still got 10 minutes walking now, I'll start heading back. A better view of the campuses now. Looks time for a wee breather. I gave you a look around about my pack. It's here, as I say, it's uh, the Osprey. It's the uh, Atmos 65 AG. AG is the new Osprey anti gravity hip belt, which I'll show you in a minute. Nice, so far so good. It's, uh, it's pretty pretty well made and it's comfortable. I say I've only been walking for seven miles and aye, uh, it's, it's good. I'll show you the inside, that's where the sort of main bit is. There. I see the hip belt's a good snug fit, but uh, it was noisy at the start, very very noisy, but I think it's just because it's new. Aye, so far so good. I'm just going to stop for a wee breather and now I'm going to take five, get the pack off for a bit, uh, rest the legs, have a wee cereal bar or something. Aye, it's so far so good. Distance 7.29 <laughs> miles. 
My daughter would love you. So she would. My daughter would love you. Folks, that's us back on the canal. It's all done about 10 miles. Uh, I'm just going to stop in a bit for some, some lunch up here. So, so far, so good. I say, I don't think I'll do this again. Just go walking with the end game. I think the next time I'll do a wild camp with a, a good walk in or something. So I know I've got an end game, I've got a guy put a tent up, I'm here for the night. I don't think I'll do this again. I think it's going to work out, I'm maybe about 14 miles on. Move it. Move it. Move it. So we'll see how we go with that. In five minutes time I'll be stopping for, for some lunch. No folks, not a bad day place to stop for my lunch. I'm just by the the canal. The wind's picking up. I've got the wind boiler on. Maybe boil on just shortly. I've got a wee nature valley protein bar, a couple of sandwiches, there's my coffee there. There the pack again. If he's interested in buying one of these, definitely a good pack. Really good. I'm actually surprised how much storage I've, I've actually downsized for a, an Ether 70 to this uh, Atmos 65, and it, for some strange reason it feels as if there's more room in that. Don't know why, maybe it's just me. I've not really used it in anger yet, so but it feels as if I've got corners of room that I never had with the, the Ether 70. Boiling away goodly there. I'm going to stop for 5-10 minutes, get a wee rest, get my lunch. I think I'm about an hour and a half away for the car. So, get back to you I'm finished. Well folks, uh, that's me finished. About 14 mile, just under 4 hours. Which wasn't bad. Uh, feet feel okay. The back's okay. Legs are a wee bit stiff, but manageable. Not quite the 25 mile that's required per day, but I wasn't intending to never day in 25 mile a day. I had a target between 15 and 20. Okay, it's only 14, but still okay. Uh, the pack, first time I've used it, really pleased with it, uh, very comfortable. And as I say, I probably need another 5 kilo a kit to get up to its maximum what I'm going to be taking with me. So, aye, uh, so far so good. Uh, next day I'm probably out in a couple of weeks time, uh, me and Matt and the kids have got a whale camp planned. Uh, I think we're maybe either going to go to Glen Etiv or Grey Mare's Tail down in Moffat. I've not decided it yet. All weather permitting, if the weather's bad we'll nobody on the kids. So, thanks for watching and I'll catch you later. Bye.